<laughs> All right, guys, we're trying to do this live. Um, we're very honored to have received something from YouTube, and we're going to get to that in just a minute. Uh, I happen to have both of my main guys that deal with all the social media here. And I just want to give you guys a clip before we even start on this as to how it goes around here. So I'm going to take a little moment of silence so AJ can clip this in as to what was taking place not more than 30 minutes ago. And it took 30 minutes to settle down so we can actually do this video while I've been dealing with phone calls and trying to sell vehicles, which is what we are here for. So hang tight, watch this real quick. When I first got you here. You weren't the first. Yes, I was. Even the video you just showed me, I filmed. How and can the, you take credit Jeep, for that? The Jeep one that you got a million on the competition? God, I filmed. You filmed it? I edited it. And then you just changed the music. No. All right, so we are here on YouTube. This will get shared on our other social media platforms. TikTok's a big one for us. It'll go on Instagram. That's what they were arguing about. In reality, each one of the team has their thing that they're supposed to be responsible for. And we've had some things go semi-viral, in our opinion, and they were arguing on who was most viral. Turns out that actually it was me. Um, but wow. <laughs> <laughs> indirectly, it was me. Uh, but it started an argument of who filmed what, who did what. And honestly, we're a team here. There's no I in team, so we're going to settle that right now. And they just uh, fist bumped, and they're happy for a few minutes until something else comes up. But everything started right here, guys. We've been in this facility since 1999. Um, AJ's going to insert, as I'm talking, some pictures of the building. Me and my father putting up the sign. Me and my dad and brothers working in the uh, yard to get it ready for pavement. Um, it was not our first beginning. And one of our original videos with YouTube when AJ came on board was a walk through time from 19... 50s of our original grandfather's shop that all the family worked in till 1976 when Davis Auto Sales, as you can see on the sign behind us, came into existence and was established. And um, a walk through our buildings, our offices. Our first office was a shed. <laughs> our second office across the road, drop the picture in here, AJ, of all the vans, was a shed. And we spent from 1990 forward over there and we had our van lot and then we had our truck lot um, and in that process we were doing lift kits at home we were doing lift kits on the side uh, we didn't have an official business we didn't even have an official shop at that point other than a house behind the shed that we turned into a shop I don't have a video handy or picture of that handy but we will put it in a we're gonna do another whole walkthrough of life of how Davis Auto Sales and Davis Off-Road evolved um, and coming to the Davis off-road side of things, people would come in the office here. It looked pretty much like it does now. It was cluttered with junk, lots left trophies. Um, but this little bracket, and I'm getting off topic a little bit, but I just this is going to be interesting for some future videos. This little bracket, this actual little bracket sitting here, was underneath a fish tank. So for any of you guys, drop in the comments if you came and dealt with us through the fish tank days, which looked like it should have frogs in it because we didn't clean it very well. But this little bracket sat right here underneath, and it was a topic of conversation because at that time, most of the lift kits we were doing were red. So if you saw John Boy's you know, lifted truck at 7-Eleven, he said, hey, I went to Davis, and the suspension was red. So they walk in here, and they see that, and they start talking about lift kits. And then we're like, we can do that, but we got to mix it in with what we're doing every day. And uh, eventually, Brian took over that part of things, and then Daniel got out of school, and he came into the shop. And they teamed on the lift kit side of things, and it went to almost all lift kits. We weren't doing any service stuff for ourselves. Um, we would buy a truck, we'd lift a truck. We'd buy a truck, redo the lift, um, you know, and then customer work as well. But all that leads me to our first video. AJ's going to drop that in. This was our first actual YouTube video. Had no talking, had some background. It was of a lifted truck that we had redone and uh, 14 years ago. Um, what I would do, it was my routine, is when I would go out and take the pictures, because we didn't have a team then, um, so I would have to go out and take the pictures, I'd have to go out and do the video, if we wanted a video, and I would go right here, we had a little phone, flip phone thing in here, I'd walk out and do the video, no talking, nothing else, come back in, as you can see it's really live, we didn't script this because there's actually phone calls ringing in. So I'm going to clip to a couple of my guys now, talking about uh, their experience here, coming to work here, and what YouTube did 
to evolve us to get to this point. So clip here, going to Christian. I'm Christian. Um, started here like a year and eight months ago. When I first started here, JW um, told me some of his goals were in social media. One of the main things that he wanted was to grow his social media, mainly because he had such a crazy inventory, but, you know, nothing was really happening. My first day, they had just hit 10,000 subscribers because a gentleman came in, he won a contest. Um, and now, just under two years later, we just hit 160,000. So since I've been here, we've had some crazy growth. Um, and AJ and I have, you know, both made million view video videos, which we had never had before. So, no, it's, it's been a lot of fun. And the map. That's the map. <laughs> <laughs> That's everywhere we sold a vehicle. We sold to 49 states and six continents, and we're working on a guy in Hawaii right now. He's the last state. So. And how did you become an employee of Davis Auto? So I come from a car family. Um, my grandfather sold vehicles. My father sold vehicles. And growing up, we probably sold six vehicles to JW and probably bought twice as many from JW. So I knew who he was. Um, I was working upholstery, and one morning I, I woke up, saw on Instagram that he was hiring, and I texted him immediately. He called me immediately. And by the end of that work day, I had left my previous job, and now I've been here two years. One of the other big moments that we've had besides besides hitting our, some of our first videos that had over a million views, the biggest moment was obviously hitting 100,000 subscribers, which I knew how much it meant to JW specifically. So I stayed up until 2 in the morning to watch the 99999 subscribers click over to 100,000, and I recorded it for them. And so that was a lot of fun. You ready? All right. What's going on, guys? AJ, Davis Auto Sales. Chris is behind the camera right now. <laughs> I'm a giggly person. But um, before I came here, I used to video a bunch of stuff with me and JW at car shows, boat events, send them to them. And when I first came here, he set up a crazy editing studio in the back showroom number one, all by myself, quiet. Kind of felt like I was on in Serbia on a chain gang by myself. And I used to be very lonely. <laughs> but... I knew nothing about editing, and he took me down to his grandparents' house where we did an edited video of the history of the company. Like I said, I knew nothing about it. It took me all day. I was frustrated. I was tired. I was sometimes nodding off, falling asleep, taking naps. <laughs> and, but we got it done, and that was, what do you say, we were about 5,000 subscribers in. And then we started to see a little bit of growth over a couple months. Then we brought on a, another member, um, Tim. <laughs> And we did our 10,000 video, and that's right around the time when Christian came. And that's Christian, by the way. He needs to brush his hair. But, <laughs> but we got that video done, and we were very proud to hit the 10,000 mark. The phone is ringing, so ring, ring, somebody pick it up. Um, <laughs> but we got that video done. Guys came, and we were very, very excited to hit that accomplishment. But ever since that day, we hit 10,000. I've seen the growth go substantially forward, different different things of video, uh, different different people coming in, different acknowledgements, different celebrities, such and such. But today marks the day, if JW turns the camera, he'll show you what we are getting ready to open up. And it means a lot because just to see it grow from absolutely pretty much starting fresh to where we are now, 160,000 subscribers, it, it's just pretty awesome. And it seems like it was yesterday when we first started doing this, but... That's me. I try to do a lot of the editing, help out. Christian has millions of views, as you'll see in the clip before. He's the best. Oh, my God. <laughs> but we're all a team, and we have a good group here with each other, and we tend to figure out things as we go on the fly. Even when JW is texting us a million times, we do everything. But thank you, guys. We appreciate each and every one of you. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'm AJ, I'm out. Hey y'all, I'm Mike, Davis Auto Sales. Been a salesman here for quite a few years with the family. I've known them for over 30 years. I've seen the dealership grow from auto traders and uh, Craigslist. And to see where it's gone with the social media has been phenomenal. The number
number of likes and hits and videos that we do on a daily basis to promote our products and where we used to sell here locally now we're selling all over the country and all over the world so the dealership has gone through a great transformation I'm just happy to be a part of it um, I started I think they're gonna make fun of me but we started back in the day when we used to do everything off a calculator no, no, you know and well, the advocates I had to I, I, I sold, sold that. that 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 brought some good money for being an antique. Um, and now I say everything is so automated, calls, texts, messages, all during day and night. So the transformation from so for from social media has proved so valuable to us and our exposure. Everybody finding out knowing who we are with the products that we sell. So, thank you all for joining me. Thank you all for uh, bearing through this video. And if you need us, just give us a call, Davis Auto Sales, or go to Davis Drives on YouTube. Thank you all. 804-271-0030. Look forward to hearing from you all. Thanks again for joining us. Big Mike. All right, guys, so the real reason for this video Let's unveil this right here. Like I said, we're pretty sure we know what it is and very proud of it. Whose knife is this? That's pretty cool. hundred thousand subscribers and again at the time of filming this now we're at 160 which is pretty cool and we got attributed a lot of our growth we know most people edit do a lot of things we try to make our videos live like what you all saw in the early content with them arguing the customer backing into the car over there every day something happens like real time real action around here and we're we don't have to make up the content like all of our stuff's not scripted uh, yes at night I might think about what we're gonna do the next day like maybe we got a bunch of square bodies lined up or we got something really cool to bring you guys but every day there's a fresh vehicle arriving actually there's three or four fresh vehicles arriving every day Daniel and Brian knocking out and Johnny knocking out uh, you know two three four five lift kits a day for customers and accessories stuff like the Suburban we built you know it's not real hard to come up with content um, and there's so much more we haven't even touched on the barn find vehicle which we have over there in the showroom. Uh, why do we have number one license plates? Uh, obviously, being a dealer so long, lots of different awards. So it's an untapped amount of things. We haven't even brought you guys yet, but stay tuned. It's getting ready to get real good. Thanks for the support. Next goal is the gold plaque like this. But we are very proud. Thank you, YouTube. Thank each and every subscriber from the bottom of our heart. It really is easy to say with a Looking straight into you guys' eyes, we appreciate every subscriber. We appreciate everybody that comments regularly. We appreciate every customer that's come from this channel, and we really do appreciate the following that we have got. I'm going to have all the employees around here and everybody involved sign this, and it's going to proudly hang on the wall with a lot of our other accomplishments. So thanks, guys. We really appreciate it. Stay tuned for more growth and more exciting things to come.